right, guys. Well, there it is. There's what I wound up getting for free out there at the junkyard. No, Tecumseh Push, actually, I mean, Master Cut Power Propelled, and it's got a Tecumseh Legend engine on it. I've already spun it over. It's not locked up or anything. This thing's been sitting out there for a while. Uh, the biggest problem was the uh, pull cord is busted on it. Do it. Let me let me uh, rearrange my camera that way you see me better. Hang on a minute. All right. Sorry about that, but uh, now, like I said, this is one that's sitting out there at that junkyard that I've visited a few times. Um, camera's still not quite. Just turn a little bit. But anyway, like I said, it's that one that I've, I've gone to a few times. And over I showed that uh, boat and everything, the Cadillac, where I got the Yamaha for at. Um, school bus and everything. This is one that Cowboy's been, you know, you know, when I first met him and everything. It's actually the only place I've ever met him at. Uh, real nice guy, okay? Um, I mean... Super nice. I you know, appreciate what he's done. Um, anyways, they were back out there, and the deal is that you already. Anyways, this was out there. They said, take it. No matter. There's some other stuff out there I want to find out about. But, like I said, it's not locked up. I don't know if it's got sparks. So, fix to find out if it's got sparks. I got a feeling it's probably because the carburetor's messed up on it. I'll take that. But if I've got spark and everything, then we know for sure I got a uh, carburetor's going to be having an issue. If everything works out right, what I plan on doing is taking this motor here and putting it on that Toro that I want to get for free that had the bad Honda engine. I don't want this frame here. It's a rear discharge only, and I don't want anything shooting back out at me. Um, now, if it is, you know, self-propelled, I'm not worried about it. I got enough muscle in my legs to propel it. So, let's see if we got any sparks. Pull the plug out of it. Plug don't look all that bad. So, we're going to spin it over and see if we get any sparks. Thumbs up, please. Hey, it helps me 
out, make you feel better. Let me comment if you like uh, stuff that I'm putting out or got some suggestions, you know, subscribe, leave me comments and everything on it. And don't forget to hit that bell. That way you know when I got another video out or whenever I go live, which is every Monday and Wednesday, 7 o'clock Central. So I'm going to get back on this and y'all stay safe. God bless and have a good night. All right, guys, I want to uh, bring you back because I haven't had a chance to go inside yet. But I did find out what the problem was. This thing's got a drive belt here on the side, which I'm not going to need. So I'll, I'll see about finding a way of taking this little pulley itself off. But the belt was so stuck and everything, it wasn't allowing in from the spin. So, I spun it over some. And let's see, I know, it looks like I got some good support. I got a spark. Yep. So, I got the carburetor off of it. So, let's see what happens when I'm going to put the plug and everything in it. Shoot some starter fluid, a car planter in here. I've already got the blade off. So, let's see if I've got a good running engine. I 
I'm not getting I'm not getting hardly any kind of compression on it. Alright, what I'm probably going to want, I guess, taking this engine apart. Rings are probably shot on it. I already know the flywheel's got a crack in it. But, um, definitely a lot more promising than the other one. Well, let's pull this head off. Why not? I'm going to see what kind of shape everything is inside. I'm going to take the motor apart, but hey. model number and all that kind of stuff. I'll see if I can't get parts and everything for it. Get my rag so I can see the inside of that cylinder. I got some some hone marks in there, but yeah, especially with that being all you know messed up, um, I have to figure that out. Um, you gotta figure out what kills it and everything. Um. I got a feeling there is a, I'm not sure what that's for, some kind of a vent. The governor wasn't even hooked up. Who needs a governor, right? Especially if you're out in Arizona, uh, New Mexico. But, all right, well, there you go. I know for a fact that I've got a, a point I will, I got to try and find. And... This has got to be taken apart. The lease is not in a bad shape as a Honda, or yeah, the Honda. <coughs> <coughs> this one here, I don't see why I can't get it fixed. I so said I'm not going to need this pulley here for the drive system. I'm not even going to use this deck. The main thing I was after was this. I know the coil is good. It is firing on the coil. Um, so, that's not bad. I mean, like I said, it's not locked up or anything. So, 
Yeah, I'll get it taken apart. I think it actually does have a a brake on it, which is what I think this cable here is for. But that might actually might be for the drive. I don't know. I'm not familiar. Yeah, you know, all that familiar. These were all messed up. I mean, I probably keep the tires. There's only three of them on it. Um, Alright, there you go. Let me do some more research, see how uh, easy it is to get parts. Um, but yeah, I'll be uh, definitely trying to uh, get a hold of the guys that do small engines. Uh, I'll be reaching out to Terrell. I'll reach out to uh, Lewis. Um, oh, I know so many other guys. Um, I know his name, I can't think of it. It's my turn, I'll think of it. Uh, Doby, Dumb Doby. I'll see if I can't get a hold of him. Um, you know, some of the other guys that I know through the small engine world and see what they had to say about, you know, on this as far as whether or not I should keep going with it or scrap it also. So, anyways, 